Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So today we're going to be making some Valentine's decor. We're going to make a heart tear tray and some decor to add to that tear tray as well as a what I call family picture sign. So what we're going to do first is the sign. We're going to use five or as many hearts as you'd like. Um, and these I had from a previous project. And I'm spray painting two of them white. Once you've spray painted those white, go ahead and set them aside. And I'm going to use this family canvas sign that I had. Now, if you don't have this canvas sign, you can just go ahead and print one out or even just use maybe some scrapbook paper, um, some designer sheets or fabric, whatever you want for your backing. And you're also going to need an 8x10 frame and I'm using this farmhouse wood uh, style frame. What I'm doing is I'm going to glue my canvas onto the backing of my frame. And all I did was place my canvas wherever um, I thought it was nice and straight and then I just glued the canvas to the backing with a little dab of hot glue on all my corners. Go ahead and flip that over and then just cut any of the extra canvas um, from the back. Once you grab the right scissors. So just go ahead and cut any of that extra canvas. I just love these simple and quick easy um, DIYs sometimes you don't have to do such a dramatic type of DIY in order for it to make a statement and it's cute um, these simple DIYs are great not just for your home decor but also as gifts uh, so just go ahead and cut any of the extra canvas once you've done that basically all you have to do now is just flip over your backing to your frame insert it into your frame and then just secure it. And if you do um, have any extra canvas like I did, you can easily just get a box cutter and cut all that extra uh, pieces of canvas off or paper, whatever you choose to use. And now secure your frame. And there you have it, the backing to your heart. Now what I did was I glued all three of my silver hearts or just the plain tin color hearts on the bottom and then my white ones on top. What I decided to do was grab my sand block and I sanded one of my white spray painted hearts, just the edging. And this isn't hard to do, you just basically sand it with your block, it's really easy to come off. And then the second one. I decided to do up and down instead of just the edging just to make them a little bit different kind of like the mom and dad style at least that's what I was going for so what I did was sand it up and down just to make them again slightly different then I decided to glue those on the top or uh, above family using a little bit of E6000 and some hot glue just go ahead and secure each one of your hearts wherever you'd like on your frame I placed all three of my silver hearts in a row for, uh, to represent all three of my children. Then I secured the other two spray painted hearts on top on either corner of my frame. Just like that. Now you can leave it as is and it looks really cute. I decided to go ahead and add a little bit of jute twine around my frame just to give it more of that farmhouse look. And all I used to secure my um, jute twine was some hot glue. This would be great not just for Valentine's but any time to have around your home for as decor or even as a gift, it would be really adorable grab a permanent marker and maybe even add 
the dates of each child or the name of each child onto each heart. That would be really adorable as a gift as well. So once you've wrapped your jute twine around your entire frame, go ahead and clean it up with a lighter. And I decided to go ahead and make that one mom heart a little bit different than the dad heart by adding a bow to the top of my heart. Completely optional, but that's just what I wanted to do. And there you have it. Pretty simple, huh? So next, what we're going to do is we're going to make our tear tray out of this tin heart and then these two shot or dessert glasses, I'm sorry. What you're going to do is spray paint it any color you'd like. I'm spray painting my heart white. Now, I made sure to spray paint my uh, heart upside down. In other words, the lid down and the heart um, down as well because I wanted that gold to be seen when I flipped it over. To secure your two dessert tray, uh, cups together, go ahead and add some E6000 and a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of each one of your um, dessert cups and then glue the two bottoms together. Once they're nice and dry for about a good 10 minutes, then I went out and spray painted both of them again white. After they were all nice and dry, I decided to go ahead and give it more of a farmhouse look by grabbing a black permanent marker and I just outlined and traced the edging of my heart as well as my cup. Right now at Dollar Tree, at least at some of them, I've seen that they have some adorable pink and ice cream style, um, just adorable little farmhouse decor to add to like um, your fairy gardens. I think that would look really cute in this little heart tear tray as well. I haven't found any in mine, but if you have any of those, I think this would be a cute option um, instead of putting it in, say, a succulent garden, you can just decorate this tear tray and add those onto here as well. So what I did again was just line all of my um, hearts and my stand part, which are the two dessert cups, with my black permanent marker. I hope you can see what I'm doing, just outlining again the top and the bottom of both of my um, tin parts. And once you're done with this, now there's two different options you can do to glue these together. You can glue it, uh, the stand in the center, but I decided to glue it on the top um, corner of my heart. I wanted you to be able to see both hearts or if you wanted to add something a little bit taller to the bottom of your heart, you could without worrying about the top tier um, not allowing you to. So I added again some E6000 and hot glue to the bottom of my stand, glued it to the uh, corner of my heart. Then I did the same thing to the top, but instead of gluing it to the corner of the top tin heart, I glued it to the center of my heart to make sure that it was nice and secure and um, it would hold the weight of whatever I decided to place on top of my tear tray. And here I'm just letting you know that I went ahead and glued it to the center. But as you can tell, they're not even. So it's cute, so you can add like again, something tall. Now I'm gonna grab these two Christmas ornaments that I had go ahead and remove the edging, the um, top part of your decor. And I sanded it all down. And now what I'm going to do is grab my angel wings and I'm going to remove the fur from here as well. And then sand all the glitter down from this angel wing as well. Now, it took me a while to sand all that, um, as much as, as possible of the glitter. And after I did everything, 
someone just said why didn't I just wash it off which I could have so I recommend you just go ahead and wash off the glitter from your angel wings now I'm painting my angel wings khaki for the bottom part of the wings and then the pink I believe this is ballet pink from a Waverly Chalk paint on the top now what I did was I painted both again the bottom and the top of my wings then I grabbed a rag and simply just wiped it away and I just gem gently wiped down the wings just to remove as not all the paint but a little bit just to give it more of that distressed look more of that old um, antique style look that I was going for now you don't have to use these same colors again you can use whatever color you choose to or just wash off the glitter and leave them white if you like so once I was done with that I went ahead and left the pink that was on my paintbrush and just kind of uh, mixed in some of the khaki brown color and just lightly coated the top part of my wings where the pink was at just to give it again more of that distressed older vintage look I have tons of different angel wings and I try to make some angel wings for every holiday but some of them like this one for instance will probably be out in my home all year round um, it's just one of those neutral colors um, it's gonna kind of match the decor that I'm adding to my living room so I'm going to leave this one for sure out um, all year round but I, I love angel wings you guys let me know do you like angel wings or what is it that you have collecting around your home mine are angel wings and elephants those are two of my favorite things that i have in every room um, even if it's a small something little but i have angel wings and elephants basically in every single room you guys let me know in the comments down below what do you collect or what is it that some one decor that just catches your eye every time you see it so once you're done again painting both of them the colors just go ahead and grab that cloth and wipe everything down kind of clean up and remove some of that paint just to give it more of that vintage look and there you have them now what I decided to do was just grab some jute twine and make a bow with it and just add it to the top of my wings and if you see notice I didn't do them I did them basically upside um, the back side is where what I'm going to show more than the top side because I might just place those on a desk or you know on my coffee table and I wanted to give it more of that 3d look so now you're going to go ahead and grab this little um I went blank on what it's called uh, but your little fifth wheel or <laughs> I forgot what it's called well just go ahead and grab your Christmas decor and then paint it any color you like and since this is for Valentine's I decided to go ahead and paint it lavender some pink khaki color and some olive green as well as what I use um, in colors for paint I painted the bottom and then my little windows with the olive and the bottom part with the lavender um, bluish color Then I went in with my pink and I painted the top of my decor with the pink. And I allowed this to dry. I gave it two coats of every color, um, but I did allow it to dry in between each coat. So once it was dry, I went in with my white paint and I painted a line right in between my pink and lavender. Now 
I also painted the wheel and then um, where the attachment is at as well. And I did this to both sides of my decor. Once I was done and I allowed the white to dry, I went in with my khaki and I painted basic, the rim of my wheel with the khaki color just to give it that little contrast from the white. And just go ahead and allow everything to dry. And when it's all dry, this is how it looks. So what do you guys think? This is in one of my bookshelves and it fits perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial.